everybody. Happy Wednesday. I hope you guys all enjoyed Van Life Rocks' um, tribute to Van Life Vagina. And for anybody that doesn't know, we are going to be raiding Van Life Vagina right after this live stream. So a little bit later, I'll get one of my moderators to drop that link and I'll just pin it to the top of the chat. But thank you, Ray with Van Life Rocks, so much for the raid. Greatly appreciated. I am really hoping my service hangs out. You guys, I am way far north of home right now. I'm at the old family homestead at my cousin's place. I'm super excited to spend Canada Day with my family out here tomorrow. Um, grabbed another fan. I was like, where's my hot flash fan? It's like 91 degrees right now. I need this fan right now. Uh, before I forget, I would really like to thank Land Cloud Adventures and Dream on Wheels for sharing out the live stream. You guys are awesome. Um, again, you guys, a little bit of grace if the service cuts in and out. I'm trying to hotspot from my phone and it's showing me there's a few less bars than I want, but we will persevere. Oh, let me see who's yes, Kathleen Klein. I am out in the boonies. Yes. Hello, Tim with Mobang for your bucks. We got uh, Lunatic Fringe. Well, hello. Good to see you here. Keely's here. Yep, my hot flash fan, honey. My hot flash fan. I don't have hot flashes yet. I'm just well prepared. It's hot enough right now. I wouldn't even know if I was having a hot flash. Water Boys here. TGIF is here. We got Van City Adventure. Tammy Cox. Call Me V. Oh my goodness. We got so many amazing people in here. I could probably scroll back and see who else. Crystal McConnell. Thank you so much for coming in. Ah, uh, Terry Dennis or Denise. Not sure. I don't know how to pronounce enough stuff, apparently. <laughs> but I know this name, Living Life in the Slow Lane with Paula and Randy. If I got Paula wrong, I'd be seriously upset with myself. <laughs> Hello, Jeep Foot. Good. So good. So good to see you here. Ben, thanks for coming in. Oh, I didn't say the whole name. <laughs> RV Weekends. Hello, hello. Auntie is in the house. Thank you for being here, Auntie. I'm sure I am missing some people. I'm going to go down to the bottom. Naj, thank you for being here. We got Peter Dell coming to us from Australia. Let me see who else we have. Forever Best Friend. Hello, Charlie Grace. Good to have you here. Becky Allen is here. Boondog Charlie is here. Good to see you, buddy. Michael Ann, Spoiled Mama, Time for Exploring, Outdoor Adventures with Ron. Oh, my God. All the cool kids are here. Like, how lucky am I right now? Fairy Dust is here. Hello, hello. The Dyson's Crazy Adventures. Diane is here. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Metal Man Productions. How's it going? Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, and Jeep. But thank you so much. You're a walking hot flash. Is that a fire engine I hear? It is so hot here. I couldn't put all my makeup on, you guys. It just kept melting off. And in my drive today, I stopped and went for a swim. And it was awesome. So awesome. So maybe I'm not quite myself, but I am so happy to be here. So happy to be here. Hello, Ray. Hello, Anne. Badge is here. Badge and Elle are going to be out here next week, which is really good because guess what's new? Guess what? You guys see me building out the ambulance. You see me putting all this work into it. You go, girl. It wouldn't start. It won't start. So I charge the batteries up. Either it's not taking a charge or my starter's gone. I don't know what's wrong, but Badge is going to come to the rescue next week and help me get it all figured out. I was a little bit frustrated, but what I did do is drive up north here like seven hours in my vehicle, in my Equinox, and I car camped in it last night. Definitely need to improve my setup in there. <laughs> but you don't know unless you try, right? Hello, thank you so much for being here. Steve's here with Desert Adventures in Arizona. 54 people, you guys are amazing. Um, Papa Texas is in the house. You know what, and I, now that I found it in StreamYard, I'm gonna play you a thank you. It's greatly appreciated. <laughs> Mm 
Nate is here. Sean's here. Oh my goodness. There's so many fantastic people. Karen is here. Hello, Karen. Always so wonderful to see you. Wow, you guys are amazing. I know, Kaylee. All the cool kids are here. This is fantastic. Of course, they're all here when they have hardly any makeup on. Oh, first world problems. First world problems. I know why you guys are here. You're here because I have the coolest guests coming on. These people are awesome. They're funny. I love the way they do their videos. Um, a lot of us know them from the chat. They've definitely become a big part of the community. I also love that they're fellow Canadian YouTubers. And I love that when I watch their videos, there's places that I haven't seen yet and might see soon. And there's places that I've been to. And I'm like watching someone on YouTube at Beggarville with the giant Easter egg. And I actually thought that was in Saskatchewan, though, until I saw their video. And I went, oops, wrong. <laughs> but they're a really amazing couple. And I'm so excited to have them up here. Hello, Ronald. Good to see you. So 60 people in the house. I am currently melting. So let's not. Oh, hi, Marshall with Melanomatic Adventures. Um, let's not waste any more time because they're dealing with heat, too, because this is like a whole North America heat wave. And here they are. Ta-da. <laughs> How'd you do like the picture? Yeah. And if it's any consolation, I'm having a hot flash, too. Are you Thomas Ben? <laughs> yeah, we got one on the screen. <laughs> it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. Uh, our, our fans are working well. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness, I got two more super chats I just realized. I got one from Tim with Mobang for your bucks and from Marshall with Mellow Nomadic Adventures. Thank you so much, you guys. Awesome. So, where are you right now? Right now, we are in Barrie, Ontario. We're one of the parks in the city here, uh, a large park. Okay. So now, did you just sell a condo or like, how did you even, like, just let's start from the beginning. <laughs> First wow. of all, you're Canadian, and you're, gonna live in a, you're Canadian and you're going to live in a van. There has got to be a story there somewhere. Oh, yeah, that's and, a long and, one. Yeah, and, and typically in Ontario, uh, uh we just heard recently that this isn't something that people normally do around here. So, you know, it's growing, but uh, you know, out West where you have a season, we're not normal like Vancouver and that, you know, you can do it year round here. Uh, you know, you got the uh, eight months of winter and four months of bad skiing. So it's kind of hard. Right. Eh? You need a, You need a four season vehicle. So the story. So in, uh, in 2019, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and that gets to be a long story. So we won't get into all of it, but basically, uh, as a result of that and a whole year with surgeries, procedures, lots of things going on, we spent a lot of time mm -hmm. going to provincial parks uh, and just kind of escaping everything and spending more time out in nature. And at the same time, we started watching uh, different videos, a lot more YouTube. So different uh, van life videos and different ideas of how to, you know, be outside more. And he found Chrome, Van City Van Life, and we started mm -hmm. watching him. And well, that was actually 2018, but we just kept watching and watching all these van tours and all these cool things and just kind of got hooked into it and ordered a van in 2019. It came in 2020 and he built it out west uh, near Edmonton for a few months last summer because it didn't arrive till July of last year. And then we traveled across October, November, across Canada, come Canada to come back to Ontario. So and now it's a motor condo and we're going to do it full time. Full time. Full time. Full time. You're not yeah. going to stay in Ontario for the winter, are you? We don't know. Our plans are still kind of in, like, our plans that we've made for the last few years have changed so many times because of COVID that who makes plans anymore? So we're kind of winging it. We just decided the first step is to sell the condo so we can make sure we downsize everything, cut back. Everything is going to be sorted out in the van and uh, be ready to roll and see where we go. So. Wow. And Just so everybody knows, I want to see these guys hit 500 at least tonight. What What is your sub count right now? It was 476 uh, just a little while ago before we came on. I'm sure we got enough people in here tonight that have not joined your channel. Because honest to goodness, I didn't even clue in at first that you were a content creator. How embarrassing is that? We started in January. So we did the filming. Uh, well, we, the, we, the very first one we did was we bought a van video back in... We filmed it back in August before 
no, even before that, right? Yeah. Before he went out west to build the van out, uh, we did that. We did that video. We put the very first video out in January of this year. So we've done okay. five months of video uploads. We've got 32 videos uploaded now. Um, nice. Our biggest one is the van tour. So the van tour video, we've got 16,765 views on it or something like that so Whoa. far. Yeah. Wow. So Blue, right out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so go watch the van tour video it's really good <laughs> yeah. definitely definitely well you're sitting at 479 already now oh, keep cool. it just joined these guys just nice. subbed tonight hey Rhonda good, good to see you <laughs> Mike Hi, Lynn, sub yeah <laughs> it's so weird usually I'm typing little snarky remarks in the chat so it's weird having to be polite on camera <laughs> it's just, so just funny on these Saturday nights because I get out of hand and I always assumed it must be a male typing from your channel. You're just it's as bad me. as I am. It's always me. It's never him. And the funny thing is, people that know it's me will say, hi, Jan. And anybody that doesn't know it's me always says, hi, Rob. They think it's him. Yeah. So he Which, takes the credit. Uh, I, I don't know how long or what industry you come from, but we had a saying in, in our job was, a two-fingered wonder. Do you remember the old uh, typewriters? And guys used to go, tick, tick. they'd only ever use two fingers. Because, <laughs> well, that's before the electronic keyboards, eh? Uh, they had to use a lot of force because they were manual typewriters, eh? So, uh, yeah, it used to be a two-fingered wonder, and I could never, <laughs> never, never handle it. Well, you've definitely come a long ways then. And thank you so much. You guys did a shout out about this interview on your channel today. And we have Iron Fire Horse here, who is another Canadian. Thank you so much for being yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, 486 so, um, I'm seeing. 488. Cool. Spell them to the highest bidder. <laughs> <laughs> going, yeah, going, going. Yeah, yeah. But the trick is, <laughs> it's not just subscribing. They have to come over and hang out with us and watch some of our videos and like them and comment on them. And we, we always comment back. We have some fun with a lot of our subscribers and friends just chatting back and forth on there. So we have we have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it would be so nice to get up. Okay. Sorry? I was going to say it'll be, it'll be nice to get on the road when you're talking about uh, creating content because uh, anything we've done so far, like the van videos and everything, that was a three-month dump into a hard drive that I am now sorting through. So <laughs> it, it's been vicious. It's not like going out for a day or two days and then you know, yeah. using that content to create something because you're focused. Well, even that video today, we got out at like 2, 2.30, quickly filmed it, rushed back to our condo, which we haven't, you know, we're not, we're still in at this moment. And, uh, and I edited it, edited it. I can't say that word today. What is wrong with me? Edit, it, edit, say it. I don't know what's wrong edit with me. It, edit. Edit it. You made a edit video. It. Yes. You made a video. <laughs> I can't say edited it. <laughs> we made a video. I made it so it would, you know, go nicely onto YouTube. And got it all done with uh, everything finished with music and everything by five o'clock. So that wasn't too bad. So, but all of our other footage was from July, August, September, October, November, December. We had six months of footage that we were building all our videos out of for the last few months. So that's finally caught up, except for some of the van build stuff. He's going to do the uh, toilet this week, yeah. show how he built the DIY toilet. Ooh. Yeah. So. Well, you know, anyone that watches van life videos really loves toilets. Well, yeah, it's, it's a big deal. Uh, everybody, you know, <laughs> everybody the, goes. <laughs> one of the bare necessities. <laughs> yeah. Right? Especially, well, especially in the middle of the night, you know? Uh, yeah, when you're least expecting is when you need it. And if you don't have it, now you're scrambling through the bushes. Absolutely. <laughs> that first coffee right. in the morning, holy mama, get out of my way, um, right? Yeah. Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So when we Absolutely. first started Van Life, or sorry, when we first we first decided what our channel name would be, and I kind of started our channel, I started our channel last fall to make sure I get the name we wanted for the Robin Jan Can Van. So we didn't post till January, but in October of last year, started the channel name and just got it started. And then I wrote a poem for our very first video, and I wonder if you would mind if I just read it right now. Sure. Sure. Okay. So it's a poem that kind of explains when you said, why are we doing this and what's going on? 
that's kind of the reason. So I remember your slim potato head one. You're good. Yeah, I did one for Chrome. I did one for Van Life Sagas. One for One Adventure at a Time. So I've done a few different yeah, ones. Yeah, her uh, her brain works different for words. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, just you get locked in with your way through. Your brain works different. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can show you can show her a book upside down and she can read it. I can read inside out, backwards, upside down, just the way my brain assimilates or what I don't know what it is. I can't say edited it, no. but I, I can write poems. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the one. It's in our very first uh, video that says we bought a van. I read mm -hmm. it in that, but it's at the very end of the video, and it just kind of sums up why and what our journey is. So okay. it's called Because We Van. After years of working to support time away, quick trips and cruises, short times to play, we realized we have a new story to write. Explore each sunrise and bright stars at night. Photography, photography, poetry, sharing our dreams. It is actually in reach and closer than it seems. Embracing the journey, new places to explore, the excitement of not knowing what lies in store. New friendships and memories to nurture and grow. Our home is where we are and anywhere we roam. We only get one life to do all we desire. Live that life that ignites that inner fire. Come along on our journey. We are Rob and Jan Can Van as we embark on our adventure because we van. I love it. Oh, put it to music and sing it now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he was going to bring his guitar and play. And I said, I could put the timer on for 18 seconds or so at a time to make sure we'll play 18 seconds of every song so it's less than 20. And then you wouldn't get you wouldn't get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You. So, so she's very good with words. So you know, she was wondering if she could do another one. Sure, I love it. Everyone okay. in the chat, you want to hear another one? Put a one in the chat. One, one more, and this, one this more. is, this is a real good one. This is a. This is the one I just wrote yesterday. I wrote yesterday. it. I wrote it in like a just a about maybe half an hour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Hey, it's Paula from Van Vita Travels. She'll keep you entertained while these guest girls. I'll start over. Hey, it's Paula <laughs> from Van Vita Travels. She'll keep you entertained while these guests' nerves unravel. She's perky and sweet, a fun Saskatchewan gal. And Mr. Fix It Badge is her awesome pal. Paula <laughs> interviews with class, smooth as silk, while downing shots of creamy moose milk. If you get hurt, you stand a chance. She'll fix you right off in her ambulance. Paula, you bravely got your first tattoo and soon an airplane jump, good for you. If, if you fans want to meet her, you better, it would behoove you to get booked in now to Paula Palooza. First Van Life <laughs> Meetup, 10th, 11th of July. Long haired freaky people can maybe apply. We thank you, Paula, for putting us on the stand. Fellow Canadians, Rob and Jan can van. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so awesome. Thank you. I love it. No one has written me a poem before. There you go. I yeah. feel like yeah. that's my thing. They come, they come to me. I don't know what it is. I just, if I decide to write one, I can write it in like 20 minutes. It's weird. That is awesome. I'm so glad I inspired you, Jen. No, awesome. <laughs> Everybody in the chat loves it. Love I can't see. It. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. Like it? <laughs> yeah, that's I love it. Thank you so much for that. People say I should work for Hallmark. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you guys retired or working remotely? Or that's I'm kind of a work in progress. That's kind of to be determined. Um, yeah, I mean, you know what the definition of retirement is? No days no. off. No days off. I retired uh, six years ago, and I've renovated nine houses. For friends and family who think I need things to do. <laughs> so he's been but retired. Yeah, I am. I he's am. been retired for a while. Yeah. He drove. Uh, do you want to uh, see what you did? Yeah, I was a locomotive engineer for uh, 37 years. I drove trains. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, like all across Canada? Well, uh, from basically Toronto to uh, uh, the Manitoba border uh, would be as far as I went. Over, over years, I would in, be in different parts. So, uh, and, and all that time, 37 years, I was going, you know, someday they're going to give me a steering wheel <laughs> and I won't have to stay on these tracks. And so. now he's got a steering wheel. <laughs> now i got a steering wheel. So I said, you know, so we, we've always, we've always been in, a, in jobs that uh, allowed us to move. 
So it's hard to sit still when you're retired. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, yeah. So, so we're not sitting still. No, we're going to get on the road. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm still, I'm still kind of in limbo right now, but uh, that's still to be determined, to be continued. <laughs> but basically, she is retired. No, no. Just not officially. <laughs> <laughs> that, it sounds like you guys are never going to officially retire, right? Because now you've got YouTube, too. No, we're YouTube creators yeah. oh, yeah. now. That's right. Yeah. You know what? And the funny thing with YouTube, the main reason we did it was just because we wanted to. We're both creative people. He's really big into photography, and I like the poetry and, yeah. and just love connecting with people. And it was more about leaving, being creative, having fun, and documenting our journey as well as having a legacy for our children. So our children, you know, what's better to embarrass than to embarrass your children? So we can leave the, all this stuff for our kids oh, you mean I can embarrass my son doing this? <laughs> <laughs> of course. We, even better. Even better, we sold the condo. We're going to spend their inheritance, too. <laughs> oh, I like it. I and like you know, the it. Best part, and the best part, Paula, is they're saying go for it. Yeah. 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 So we don't uh, have yeah. any, but even people that at first... Even when we meet people and they say, what are you doing? Yeah. You're, you're selling your condo. You're going to live in a 72 square foot van. It's like, and then they go, wait, I'm jealous. Like, it's funny how in, like initially they're like, what are you yeah. doing? And then, they, then you start explaining, you know, what it means to be in the van and living outside of it and seeing new places and new people. And I think that it mm -hmm. changes and they realize that it's something, you know, it's, it's being free, right? It's being out there and enjoying your life. So Oh, that's awesome. I I can't wait to like, well, at this point, I'd be happy if I could even part time it. If I could get it out of the driveway, I'd be super impressed. Well, that's been our last year and a half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah well, this is it. It's been built out now since last, we've had it built out since last, end of last October. And we did some traveling in it and a little bit over the winter, yeah. a few overnights in that. But for the most part, we haven't done a lot in it because you've been just busy you know, with life and yeah. can't really go anywhere during COVID. It really, COVID really made a big difference because we expected to have a lot more time to travel. And we weren't even originally going to sell the condo yet. We were thinking of kind of having, you know, shorter trips and back and forth. And then just the market was good. And we've just had a whole year of waiting for life to happen again. We thought, why wait? So, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I know I've really been reflecting lately on, we don't know how much time we have, right? And we need to live every day to the fullest, regardless of what we're yeah. doing. And that's the thing. You just don't know, you know, how much time you have left. And I think that was a wake-up call. My mother passed away fairly suddenly near the end of 2018. And then I was diagnosed with breast cancer a few months after she passed away. So it was just like, wow, like everything seemed to be, you know, we seemed to be healthy. Things were good. Then all of a sudden everything changed. And it makes you really open your eyes and think, wow, don't wait till tomorrow to live. If you can do it now, do it now. Because so many people say, oh, next year I'm going to do this. And, you know, in 10 years or when I retire and it's like people retire and sometimes don't live much after they retire. So or don't or get to retire. To What's yeah. that? Or they don't get to retire. Like they don't right. get or, to that point. Apparently if you live until you're 65, this is a study that just come out. Uh, you only uh, collect 18 pension checks. On average. On average. People that work what? to 65. If, no, if you, people that work to 65. Yeah, if you work till 65 and then retire, you only uh, usually collect, uh, on average, 18 uh, checks. So they live to 66 and a half. Is yeah. my math correct? If they work, but maybe, but no. that's, I don't know for sure. Maybe it depends well, on what type of work that, that, that is. That's an insurance company statistics, uh -huh. I guess. And, uh, yeah. I, I think what it comes down to is that if you keep waiting, like there's always, oh, we'll wait till, you know, the kids are grown. We'll wait yeah. till the grandkids are grown. We'll wait till, there's always that wait till whenever. And a mm. lot of people have to spend their whole life saying someday we'll do that. And then even if it's not that you pass away, what if you're just not healthy enough to travel? You know, because yeah. how many years can we travel in the van? We don't know until, you know, physically we can't do it. So we might do it for six yeah. months. We might do it for six years. We don't know. So we'll see. Oh, I think that's fantastic. I, I, I think it's really awesome what you guys are doing. And the fact that you're Canadian and you're doing it, because it is a whole different ball game. So what I want to know is how are you regulating your temperature systems? It's actually perfect. Do you want to have a little mini tour? Sure. <laughs> Let me make we'll you bigger try, again. We'll try and carry around for a mini tour. Here, let's see. If I unplug that, will that be okay? Yeah, yeah. go for it. 
Okay, so let me know if you can see things because I don't know what I'm watching here. Here's my major invention. So we're in, we're in our van. The both okay. seats spin around. I don't know how much you can see there. Can you yeah. see the seat? So both yes, the I seats uh, have swivels. This is my amazing invention up here that Rob made happen. Can you see that? Yeah. Hang it up. Awesome. Show them. Show them what that does. Because oh, I got yeah, the first one we practiced. Yeah. So most people have a curtain rod that goes across, right? And mm -hmm. what happens is with the curtain rod, you have to have the curtains there and you pull it across and it's always there. So in this case, we have a little coat hook or a curtain hooks kind of thing that you can adjust however you want. You don't have to slide them across. It could be white or gray out. Yeah, they're thermal yeah. curtains. And there's two of them. There's two panels that go in here and they go right to the yep. edges. And then, and then uh, we can either put one up or both up depending on how much privacy you want to go across with. And then we use it, you can use it as a towel hook or a coat hook or a hat hook or whatever during the day. And then everything just stores uh, in the overhead part at night. So you don't have to have the bulky material behind the driver's seat. Well, and another thing I like about how you set that up is it's up higher. So no light yeah. is coming in through those no, rings. No. no, it's perfect. It's completely black out when everything's done. Yeah. And, yeah. and I figure, I figure that in the summer, what I'll be able to do is there's uh, grab rails above each door. I should be able to use a elastic band oh, and, and put this <laughs> up there and stop the, the heat uh, from coming in. And yeah. we just bought metal vents for the uh, windows uh, from a, a company uh, in the States. Uh, I don't know if you can see them there, if, the, if you see the light coming through them. Yes. Oh, oh no, no, no. look at that. Cool. <laughs> no mosquitoes. Okay. Do you have the link for that on your channel? Uh, no, but I can. No, put it he there. just bought them. Uh, I actually, just, I just got them. Actually, so here's an overhead compartment. Them. So okay. it's a cupboard we have up here for all our games and books and odds and ends. I don't know how far you can see. If that, can you see from where I am or no? Yeah, I can see you open it. Okay, and then we have our bench seat here, and there's a window behind it. But right now we've got it covered because it's better for the reflection for the camera. But we have a Sierra Lawrence window that opens up behind the couch there. That's our yeah. couch. Under the couch, we have two pull-out drawers that hold our shoes, and uh, we don't have to open those right now. No. People can watch the whole van tour. We're doing mini van tour. Yeah, <laughs> we're just giving them a little teaser. It's an appetizer. That's right. Yeah, just do a so there's a little Canada, and then the back what? here. Canadian? <laughs> <laughs> Under mount lighting. Oh, oh, and this is the part that Rob really likes. Look at this. Interior lighting, too. Nice. So Very lighting nice. Lighting here. All our clothing cupboards are back here. So, Jan, we had a question. What did you use for the hooks on that curtain? Oh, so it's a uh, door. It's like knobs, yeah, right? Yeah, just, uh, just a cabinetry, oh. black anodized doorknobs. Yeah, they're and, little doorknobs. Or, not, did, or no, counter. Uh, they're doorknobs. They're doorknobs, and I put them on aluminum, uh, one and a half inch angle aluminum. And, and then, uh, rock then I rock guarded it. And that's the nice thing is I needed something to screw in. So I screwed them in from the back. And then I just, there's only four places here that I could attach it the way this is built. But it, it's rock solid. Yeah. It's very good. And it's so, so, yeah, little, they're like little dirty. knobs. You, you no, know. they don't turn. No. No, no, they're, no they're like little, they're like little knobs. Like you get little wooden ones or metal ones for like drawer pulls, basically. Right? Nice. I love it. Yeah, so I you absolutely can use love whatever it. you want. You can use whatever you want, it really. So then this is our bed back here. We have a full queen bed back here. And we each have, oh, this is not tightened, Rob. <laughs> How do I tighten that? There we go. So back here, we have our own little reading lights. We have the same curtains back here, but they are on the rod just to slide closed. We have mm -hmm. our CO2 and, and smoke alarm back here. And we have two Max Air fans. Nice. Um, where's the light for this? Is this the light? Oh, and we have another light back here that can either be on or off over the bed. And a little shelf above the bed for our Kleenex and phones. And we have USB chargers and our fan mounts nice. over here. And, and you guys full... did that build out. What's that? And you yeah, guys Rob did, did it all. This oh, that's oh, Look at our pantry it. drawer. Look at our pantry drawer. Ooh, I like it. Oh, and this is a really cool thing. You want everyone to hold the camera for this one? I'll demonstrate. I don't know how much you can see what we're doing. Okay. So here is our kitchen cupboard under here. We have a sink. You can't really see the taps behind. There's um, taps that are a pot filler, so they have a they have two spots. If you watch the bantry, you'll see, but basically one is filter water and one is regular water. 
And then this is a cool thing. Fancy. So here we have, it's just a tool cabinet. So we use this for all of our drawers because you didn't have to build it out. See? Th that's awesome. And I forget, yeah, I've, I've seen that before and I did consider it, but did you find one that's not as heavy? Oh no, they're very light. They're, they're not. They're not that heavy. We no. took the top off because then we built. Rob built that uh, this waterfall butcher box countertop on top of it. So yeah, awesome. Yeah. That is and awesome. You guys, they need. They need. They, they, need, they need to go and see your whole tour now. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and the toilets down there, and another drawer here, and a, and a closet here. Lots of stuff. <laughs> so yeah, mini. And toilet. you have a couch. Does a couch turn into a bed if you wanted? If you had company, no. or if you kick Rob off? We don't off want the... company. <laughs> <laughs> only, only if you're in trouble. <laughs> no, uh, that's how we sold the condo. <laughs> no, Connie uh, B says your design is one of her top five builds. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, he spent yeah, a long time building there is it. There's no wasted room in this. In fact, it's so tight that when I pull the drawers out that I built, uh, I only have a quarter of an inch to release the uh, mechanism. Uh, to take the drawer right out and then the, I can't even pull it out. I got to push the slides back in mm. to, to release them. So uh, every everything, every square inch in this thing has been uh, utilized. So it's yep. good. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So no, what kind of mileage do you get? Sorry, I'm just curious. That's okay. I get roughly 17 to 17 and a half, but I haven't uh, been running around with a full tank of water because uh, I have uh, at the bottom of this uh, unit uh, 52 gallons of water also. So oh. and, and, and we took it out for the winter because yeah. of course we weren't in it. We didn't want everything to freeze. You see, right? there's there's two uh, drawers there. Just stay, John. Oh, okay. Just stay. It's your two drawers. The small one underneath it, uh, that's for the guitars. And when I put them in there, they go on top of the water tank. So that's so the very bottom is that the water exact tank. width down to the floor goes right to the very back, and that's all water. Wow. I built it like wow. that. So that it's, it's between the wheel wells at the lowest point. Because it's 500 pounds, 500 pounds of water. Then we have an outdoor shower. We have a diverting toilet. Yeah. Um, we've got everything. Yeah. We have an outdoor shower. Yeah. So it's we haven't used that yet either because we only traveled it in the winter. So we weren't gonna have an outdoor shower in the winter. We just have one of those shower tents. And you have what's the water heater you have? Uh, I, I've got a gas uh, demand. Uh, not yeah, just on a demand. gas, uh, a, a gas uh, a one on the back door that uh, when you pull it out or open the door, it uh, creates a shower enclosure. Uh, you know, you can set it up in there and we have a little tent that uh, you, you just hook up to the tank. We've got diverter valves and all that set up. And uh, yeah. yeah, if it wasn't for my brother, I, I built it in Edmonton. Uh, uh, he, he was phenomenal. And he had a garage that uh, I never had to come out of in th for three months. For three months, I built it. And, yeah, uh, no, yeah. I saw. He did like how many hours a day? Yeah. Like 16, 18 hours a day almost? Yeah. Like, well, no, uh, well, uh, 12 to 14 every day for three months, never took one day off. So. Yeah, yeah. so retirement, yeah, what is that again? Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. people, now we get people saying, oh, will you build our van for us? And he's like, no, yeah. never again. <laughs> it's like, it was so much work. Yeah, my brother used to put in about four hours a day when he'd come home too, so it wasn't just my time. It was his too. He yeah. uh, he figures he pulled over eight hundred feet of wire to wire this van for all the systems that I have in it. Yeah. Wow. And how many watts of solar? Six hundred and sixty yeah. watts of solar yeah. and four hundred amp hour uh, lithium batteries. Yeah. Okay. Here's yeah. a question: How much of your stuff did you buy at Canadian Tire? <laughs> well, don't worry. There's, <laughs> there, 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 really? Yeah, there was a, a number of runs to Canadian Tire, but uh, no, most of it was uh, uh, when the pandemic Amazon. first started. Was Amazon? I had a whole house full of. Uh, yeah, the condo was full. The, the one, one bedroom was full. The one bedroom. Well, was full. because what happened was we ordered the van in November of 2019, and then it was supposed to come like January, February. Yeah. Then they said, "Oh, now it's delayed till April." And then, of course, with the pandemic, it was getting built in Mexico because we were ordering ours as a granite color, so they don't have those on the lot a lot of times. We we wanted to have the um, uh, swivel seats already put in because then they're warrantied and we know they're put in by the manufacturer yeah. and then the seat belts are built integral right into the seat instead of the ones that are on the side so that when you spin the seat belt goes with you. So okay. we ordered it and and then it didn't come, it was supposed to come February, then April, it didn't come till the end of July almost uh, of 2020. That's so, crazy. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Yeah. So what's your next big plan? 
get out of the condo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for, yeah, that's yeah, the for, for the van, uh, I think what I'm going to do is now that things are opening up a little, I have to make arrangements with uh, a company called Roloff. I think it's Roloff. I might not be pronouncing it right. In Quebec, and they do custom uh, bug screens. Oh yeah, we're gonna put the bug screen on the yeah, sliding door because we, we got to keep. I doing think she means where screen. are we going? No, no, like for for vans. <laughs> I mean so, everything. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, and and so that that'll be all part of uh, our leaving the condo when when we finally uh, leave. Our first trip will be to Quebec to do that, and then from there, once we get that done, then we're fo totally. Uh, in a situation where we have what we need to start doing what we want and then who knows who i knows? think the problem is we kind of want to do vancouver island and newfoundland yeah. and it's not like you can just say hey we'll go over here and then go over there <laughs> yeah. so it's so, like we have to decide when we're going to dedicate that time because originally we thought things would be over and we'd be traveling by this spring like just at you know like maybe april or march and we thought we'd go to newfoundland in the spring but then, of course, things are still not really open yet. So by the time they are, it's it. By the time it opens up, because people have been locked down for so long in Canada, I think everything's going to be nuts. So I think it's almost better to kind of wait for some of the bigger places we really want to see till another year or so. Because I just think when we go to Newfoundland, we want to spend like a couple of months oh, there, yeah. like because it yes. costs a lot to go across on the ferries, and we've never been there. We've been to most other provinces. Uh, I think I've been everywhere except for Yukon. The Yukon and uh, Northwest Territories yeah. and Newfoundland. I've been everywhere else in Canada. So, but I love Vancouver Island and I and I really want to see Newfoundland. So, like I say, and, and you can't do both. We were supposed uh, to do Alaska, but uh, of course, COVID uh, yeah. messed all that up. Mm. Uh, we had friends from uh, Kentucky. Uh, or maybe watching uh, right yeah, now. Hi, Kathy yeah. and Joe. Oh, great people. <laughs> yeah, anyway, we were going to tag along with them, and uh, that was what, a 42 day uh, trip or well, something? Well, they or? were, but they were paying for it in like a, a trailer thing we were just gonna tag see, along tag along for free <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so but yeah that so, but, so i guess what it comes down to is we, we have kind of given up on making plans because we've made so many plans that have been changed over the last couple of years that we're just going to figure it out as we go um kind of make some plans but yeah we're going to go to the states we're going to go western canada at some point in eastern canada but we're still trying to figure out when and how it all goes together we don't want to be rushing to go to one coast and rush back to the other. So we have to kind of still figure that out. Well, and it's the two extremes that you're talking about, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, when you consider it takes a day to get out of Ontario, you know, that <laughs> it, a it, day, it takes two days to get out of Ontario. If you're going well, west, Ontario is yeah. huge to drive yeah. through. It's yeah. like the, oh. lo it's, it's the longest province, isn't it? Like to get it's through. Right? It's the lar is it the largest landmass province? Uh, I, 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 yeah, I think so. Yeah. We should know that. Quebec, Quebec, I don't know. Well, Quebec and Labrador might be uh, equal or maybe bigger. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So we have plans to go. Highway, like if you figured, like the number one highway. I think the I longest stretch Canada. Ontario. Yeah. But yeah, the Young longest Street, stretch yeah. of that would be Ontario. Yeah. That's 11's Young Street. Yeah, One's not Young Street. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, right. Anyways, um, yeah. so our bucket list places would be I've been to Vancouver Island quite a few times as I have a friend that used to live on Vancouver Island. So I used to go visit mm -hmm. quite a bit and it's one of my favorite places. So that's our, one of our bucket list places as well as Newfoundland and the Oregon coast, because oh, Oregon. we always, always wanted to do that Oregon coast and mm -hmm. uh, Grand Canyon and the surrounding area, Zion and uh, the arches yeah. and all that kind of those places. I want to do Oregon in the winter though. So in the winter. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Nick Page, I don't know if you ever followed him as a photographer, he's from Oregon, and uh, oh, it is just so I think the beautiful. oceans are more wild, that's what I think, yeah. for photography, I think it's yeah. better. We have a heater, we have a diesel heater, so we okay. haven't really, we haven't lived in the van in warm weather yet. We were in North Battleford, North, no, North Battleford, yeah, is that North it, Battleford. Saskatchewan? Yes. And it yeah. was minus, minus 30, 32. minus 32, we stayed in the van. Minus 32. And you guys, it still made, you had it, I, if I remember correctly, I just watched that video. You kept it at the two hertz and it still yeah. maintained 17 Celsius in there at the yeah. minus 30. That was fine. Yeah. It was That's fine. Yeah. It goes, yeah. yeah it go, and it goes up to 5.5. So, uh, well, yeah. yeah. It, it, uh, it was fine. Yeah. I think it's actually easier to, I think it's almost easier to have van life in cold weather versus hot because it's easier to stay, it's easier to wrap up and get, get warm. It's harder to get cool. So that's what the trick is going to be, how to balance out 
where we go. So it's not just our travels of where we want to be. It's when we want to be where we want to be. Right. Yeah, and we have to right. also spend five months of the year in Ontario to keep our Ontario health plan. So you're allowed to travel seven months out of the country or out of province, including the United States or wherever, but you have to stay five months of the year in Ontario. So, yeah. Well, well that I covers could... three seasons in Canada. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, and that was, One that, day can cover yeah. three seasons in Canada. Yeah, I, I think I put uh, five, five bags of insulation in here and then I insulated the floor mm -hmm. and then I believe it was 14 of the big cans of foam to uh, insulate the places where I couldn't get to with the fiberglass. It's really so, well insulated. So this house. thing has been well yeah. insulated. Like yeah. right now, it feels well, like I could tell by that video when you described the temperatures and what you were keeping. I was yeah. like, "Dang, you must have done yeah. some really good work in there with yeah, the insulation." No, it's good. Yeah. The only thing we have to work on is more like we don't. This is kind of um, temporary. We don't have really good covers for our windows. We've been yeah, using reflectors, yeah. so we want to make some really nice ones. We we're going to buy them, but they cost a fortune. They're really, really good ones that you can buy yeah. from California. The whole set's like $1,300 oh, yeah. US or something for the ones that do the whole van, but it's like, it's too expensive. So we're we're mm. trying to figure we'll out, figure we're gonna, we'll make something, yeah. make it work, so, yeah. Wow. So, now, correct me if I'm wrong. Was it through Van Life Agena that you guys kind of got connected into this community? It is. <laughs> yes, Gina, one day, um, we were, I started having a couple of new subscribers, and they said, oh, we came over from Gina. Gina sent us from Van Life to Gina. It's like, who's Gina? I did, yeah. I'd never heard of her. And now, of course, we know her. Gina's awesome. But uh, we we uh, went to her site and saw that she'd done a shout out for us because I guess YouTube had recommended us to her as a channel to watch and she watched our videos and did a shout out and as a result of that we kind of came into this whole family and met you and Ray and Marshall and Karen and a lot of other people right so Absolutely. yeah it's really it's really nice because that's not something we considered like I said before when we first came into this for YouTube it was more for our creativity for something to do for some fun maybe to make down the road some gas money whatever you know but and yeah. and just document our journey and now it's really surprising not, well, not about surprising but a little surprising to, yeah. to see the community and how many people really kind of rally with each other and and uh, and kind of help each other along and are there to support each other with mm -hmm. with any kind of problem that comes up so yeah it's nice Nice. Yeah, there's a whole lot of behind the scenes kind of stuff where people are supporting each other in every way, really, that yeah. there is to support each other. Yeah. 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 It's fantastic. Before I forget, if yes. one of my moderators could drop Van Life of Gina's link, she is the channel we're going to rate after this, just so that I can pin it to the top. But we have a reminder for anyone that's new to the stream Rob and Jan can van are only five away from 500. Really? Cool. Five away from 500. We can totally do this, you guys. We can totally do this. So That's click okay. If you don't like this, you don't have to. No, I love you guys. I mean, you're so it's funny. It's okay. You're such a sense of humor. And your creativity comes out in so many ways. It comes out in how you film it comes out in how you built your van it comes out in your comments it comes out in your poetry i mean you guys i just i adore you guys i really do Aww, thanks that's nice well you're 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 very genuine too and it's really it's really nice to um to have met so many wonderful people i say in the community that are that are out and having fun with each other so it'll yeah. be nice once things open up to really be able to meet up with people again and, uh, yeah. and do some of these van life meetups. So, yeah, it'll be cool. Yeah, because well, I don't I, think we're going to be moving too fast. I was going to say, I don't think you're probably coming to Saskatchewan for the 10th, are you? <laughs> no. Oh, we'd love, no. we love to be in that situation. No, we've got yeah. so much to do with the getting ready, getting the condo yeah. out of there. So, getting getting yeah. our life uh, lined up. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've been talking to a lot of other people from Ontario, and we're trying to set something up for the middle of September. If you're still oh, wow. around, we're kind of thinking oh, wow. maybe the Hamilton-ish area, because where everybody is, oh, wow. that seems to be about the same driving distance for everyone. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, at that time, 
at that point, this will be our van home. So the driving distance is whatever we make it, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Technically. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah, so that's true. Cool. Like Michael Land's gonna be out there. Call me. V is gonna be there. Yep. Hey, Michael. Thank you so much for being here. Um, Shebna, Shebna's gonna make some Indian food for us. It's gonna be awesome. There's just a whole I bunch. I people. know I'm forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm forgetting um, names. So, if you could only travel to one place, what would be the dream trip? Mm -hmm. Oh. That's a toss up for me. Drive, yeah. I'll say mine first. So mine would be I, Newfoundland is one of my bucket lists. It's like a whole other country, I think. From what from what I we've watched on different documentaries and things and channels, it's it's a whole different place than anywhere else in Canada. So yeah. Newfoundland is one of my bucket lists and the Grand Canyon and surrounding area. So those are the two. If I can only pick one, I guess I'll pick Newfoundland, but those are my two bucket lists. What about you? Well, yeah, Newfoundland would be good too, which is convenient because it looks like I'll be driving. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, 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 I've been doing photography for 40 years, so I can't wait to get out there and really apply everything that I've learned. And uh, that would have the landscape, I think, uh, with the ocean and all that, that would uh, give me the best uh, bang for my buck. So that would be uh, my choice too. I'll give you more bang for your bucks. More bang for my bucks. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know everybody in our family here. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, we're all related somehow. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, but Saskatchewan, I want to come back. I want to go back through Saskatchewan with different eyes because yeah. the big sky, the big sky. Yeah, I like yeah. how you said, oh, we moved through Saskatchewan. We just try to hurry out of there. I'm like, don't say that. <laughs> but it's <laughs> true. You know what? It really is true. And then I started watching a lot more of Karen's channel, Prairie Life, right? Yes. And we really yeah. learned a new appreciation for what we have. And for me right now, I'm more, well, in the occupied areas considered northern Saskatchewan. We're north, well, really central Saskatchewan, but we're just at the tree line for the boreal forest. And this is where I grew up and this is home. And I'm just like, oh, I love it. I love it. It's yeah. so nice just to be able to go anywhere right now. Yeah. And, and the history too, like, yeah, I was watching that one. Um, Wolseley. Was it Wolseley? The first video that Karen did. Yes. And, the, the, not, and then she did another one on the ship. And the story on that, and it's really interesting. I, I think I forgot to comment on that one yet, but it's really interesting to get those little, little slices of life in different places. Like, and that's what we want to do, and that's what we did. Kind of coming across Canada, we stopped at, you know, Vigreville. We were driving by, and we see this world's largest pasanka. I go, what's a pasanka? And we go by the sign, and it's like, what is that? <laughs> so I look up the sink. Oh, it's, it's we gotta go. Yeah. So when we turned around on the highway, like we literally went to the next place, turned back around, and got off, and then said, "Let's film this." And it was freezing <laughs> everywhere we went. Was freezing, like freezing I minus know. twenty and more. And we went up to these places and kind of found that, found the world's largest coffee pot in yeah. in. And that's gonna, I, in Saskatchewan. Yeah, I think that's going to be one of the, yep. the novelties that we try to do those uh, kind of places. Yeah, because yeah. It, it, it's cute. You know, you wonder why these uh, communities have it. And unless places. you get off uh, the main main highways, you'll it's never know about it. <laughs> we got a moth flying around in here. Um, well, in yeah. case you guys missed it, you have hit your 500. Woo! Yay! Yay! Thank you, Thank you. Just <laughs> the beginning. Everybody's saying some congratulations out for you oh, guys. Yeah. And I really hope that everybody takes the time. Go back and watch some of their videos. They're just starting their travels. It's going to be, whoa, 507 or 504. Whoa. I can't read. We've been told we're adorable, which we think is hilarious because people keep saying, oh, you guys are adorable. We're like, adorable? We're snarky and we bicker at each other. It's like, how are we adorable? And we just think it's that people keep telling us that. Adorable. That is adorable. <laughs> and then you laugh and giggle. I can handle it. What's your problem? <laughs> no, I think too. I think maybe because we don't read anything, we don't practice anything. When we do our copy in the vans or anything we film, we don't, I'll just say, oh, we should talk about this, this, and this. I basically say kind of, we should just bring up these items. Yeah. And then we just go, go, we do it in one take. We don't edit, like we don't, our conversation, we don't cut it. It's whatever we say, we say, and that's what we put out. That's kind of just what it is. So we try to be genuine. It's just our conversation. Yeah. Like so. Kathleen Klein says, that's why you're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> you're adorable too, Kathleen Klein. 
<laughs> Everybody's <is>. adorable. <laughs> We're all adorable in our own way. Um, no, I I do love how down earth you guys are. You're you're just so genuine, and it's just I don't know it it when you watch your videos and interact with you know Jan anyways in the chats and stuff. You kind of feel like you know each other. Like I just knew I already like you, right? Conversation. <laughs> well, he does sometimes have an opinion, believe it or not, but. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes he'll say things to say in the chat, but a lot of times they're not things I want to type. So I am in control of the keyboard because he'll say, oh, say this. I'm like, I'm not saying that. Yeah. So you think I'm bad in the chat? If I let him have any say? We'd be, we'd be, we'd be going backwards for subscribers. <laughs> you know, I actually, I go backwards every Saturday night, so it's nothing new. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And I, you know what? I, I appreciate the fact that you guys thought to shout me out for doing this. That's awesome. I can't wait for you guys to do live streams. Is that something you're considering? Some someday maybe. Yeah, at some point, but yeah. we, it, there's a, a learning curve that we got to get comfortable with. And uh, yeah, I, I can see it being advantageous at some point. I yeah. can see us maybe doing like one a month or something like that, like down the yeah. road. Like I think right now we've got a lot going on. Again, we're trying to just, now we have to finish up his van build chronicle videos and yeah. then we're going to do some coffee in the vans and maybe a little bit of travel, but because we have to get so much done in the next month, we're not going to do, you know, too much of that. But um, eventually we'll do live streams, maybe, like I say, just one a month, just to kind of touch base. But I don't think we want to do a set, like you guys do that, and it's your thing, and it's wonderful to do your set hours and dates. I think we'll just mm -hmm. kind of maybe do impromptu ones here and there, or, yeah. you know, yeah, just the odd time. If we're it's maybe somewhere amazing. Value. Yeah, somewhere yeah. we're amazing. Say, hey, guys, look at the beach, or look at this campfire we built, or, you know, look at this beautiful mountain, or, you know, kind of bring you along at the moment where we're seeing something incredible and kind of bring you in with us, so. Yeah. That's awesome. You know, we've unleashed something tonight. We got guys in here now going, let Rob have control. Free Rob. We got hashtag <laughs> free Rob. Oh my gosh, you say that. I have my glasses on. What's going on? Free Rob. What does that mean? Because <laughs> you won't say his con. We got another. Hashtag oh. free Rob. I love this. This is this is you the family that we have con. here. Free Rob, free Rob, we got another hashtag free Rob. Oh my god, that's awesome! Oh my god, that's gonna like be your brand now. Free Rob. Oh my goodness, they're going crazy on me. What was that in the movie? What was that in the movie? It was like free, free somebody. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's hilarious. Oh my gosh. That's fantastic. Adorable, and now I'm gonna be free too. Rob, speech oh, to gosh. Thanks, guys. <laughs> that's like, that's like one of the videos we did with the colors. And, and we had originally planned, because he built this out without me, right? So we had planned on these grays and whites and all these colors. And then I come out to Edmonton, and I come see the van, and it's burgundy and green. I'm like, we agreed on grays and whites. And he's like, no, it was too bland. So then I was irritated. And then we do a video. You say, who are you on, Team Rob or Team Jan? Everyone picks Rob. Everyone said, oh, the color's better. Everyone likes him better. It's just the way it works. <laughs> uh, free Rob now. We got a couple free free Rob. Okay, <laughs> Rob, say what you think. No censorship. Don't be sorry. Hashtag <laughs> let Rob talk. We got to make free, hashtag free Rob t-shirts now. Oh, my God, that's awesome. I prefer to suffer in silence. Merch coming soon. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would wear a free Rob, a hashtag <laughs> Rob t shirt. I'd be the first uh, free Rob. Oh, you, me, you know how much hassle I take from him? He, if you watch our videos, you would see that I, I get hassle from him too. That's okay, Anne. Yeah. Diane, Diane loves you, Jan. She's just letting you know. Okay, you thank you. You still got the women here behind you. <laughs> Rob's just so adorable. I know he's so lovable, like the Pillsbury Doughboy or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh God, we're getting it's, it's, more hashtag free Rob hashtag Rob's voice. Okay, it's all you, Rob. What do you want to say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so funny. You know what? You know what just happened there? I 
I oh, gave him somebody to say something. He went to say it. Then he said, oh, no, I can't say it. See? So if I didn't edit him, he would edit himself. Yeah. And guess what? I just said edit. There you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell her what I was going to say later. <laughs> inappropriate. No, inappropriate. inappropriate. Yeah. You guys anyway. are so funny. So funny. Don't worry. Everyone says they love you too, Jan. You're sitting at 906 subscribers. We only have about four minutes before we're going to go raid Van Life with Gina. And I'm going to go visit with my family. Um, is there anything you want to tell everybody out in the chat? Or anyone re Oh, no. Rob, you better speak. You tell her what you want to say or I'm going to get the free robe. What do you want to Let's leave the last word to Rob. Rob, what would you like to say, dear? I can't handle my freedom. <laughs> I can't handle Hashtag. my freedom. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Hashtag Rob's in trouble when the camera turns off. <laughs> no. <laughs> <he's not. laughs> Do they know? <laughs> Don't no, we're, we're, uh, Derek's team. Hashtag Team Jan. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and he's Team Rob. No, I, I, I think if anything. I think if anything, Paula, uh, we're, we're just very excited to uh, be able to get out there and meet some of the people who. Uh, and I, I got to give Janet total uh, credit for everything uh, on the uh, YouTube part uh, uh, with the groups and that because, uh, like, <laughs> two fingers. He, does, he doesn't do social media yeah. stuff. Everything's me. So yeah, but so, that's uh, okay. We'll yeah, let so you yeah. have more to say. We, is that the royal we? We'll is that the royal we? <laughs> the royal we. Um, Tracy Oceanfire, thank you so much for that super sticker. She's got one that looks like it's rolling on the floor laughing. Um, but Michael Santana commented earlier, Rob, complimenting you on your photography. And now he asks, what camera do you use? Well, here's the funny uh, thing. He hasn't really done photography yet. Yeah, this I haven't is done still, it yet. This is, um, he hasn't done his photography yet. Okay, what, what, what we're using for uh, the stuff is DJI, uh, the Pocket, and the Osmo. And for uh, 35 millimeter, I've got the uh, the Canon 5D Mark II. In fact, I had one of the first 10 that come into Canada. So uh, I've had that for years, and uh, so I'm a Canon shooter. And, uh, and I love the DJI uh, products. They're really, really good. And this is how busy I am. I think I may have mentioned it to you at one point, Paula, that I bought a DJI Mavic Air 2 a year ago. I haven't put the propellers on it. I've he been so busy. I haven't He's done the license. I've got to do busy. that. And uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, those are the two cameras we use. They're excellent little uh, But you cameras. haven't really done your photography yet. No, I haven't done my photography. What we've been doing is on the fly all the yeah. time. So we really still haven't done his true photography, yeah, which is amazing. I, I'd like to do astral photography and... Uh, uh, slow motion photography, uh, time lapse photography yeah. in ocean That settings. sounds awesome. Yeah. Absolutely awesome. I look forward to it. Everybody, you go check out Thanks Rob, everybody. Jan, and Van. Yeah. We're going to go raid Van Life with Gina. Thank you guys Good so much. Yeah. We'll see you over thank there. Thank you for having us, Paula. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Good night, everyone. Bye, okay, everybody. Good night.